We are going to look more at exponent rules and finish the multiplication properties of exponents foldable. So on Friday, we did power of a power by expanding them. But let's look at it and find the rule. So we have y to the fifth to the second power. And when we expanded it, second power means it times itself two times. So y to the fifth times y to the fifth, which gives y to the tenth. Then we had an x squared to the fifth. And we did x squared five times and got x to the tenth. What do you notice about the exponents? How could we go from to the fifth power to the second power to the tenth? Multiplying. What about over here? Same thing. What about this one? But what if I ignore that? What would this be? 15 and then add the 1, making it 16. Then this next one, A was to the first power, and then what did it become over here? To the third power. And then B to the fourth to the third. What do you do with those exponents? Yeah, so we are going to write the rule down here. When raising an exponent, to a power, make sure you're writing this down, multiply the exponents. When raising an exponent to a power, multiply the exponents. You'll also hear me say the word send the power in or send the exponent in. It's kind of like distribution. You're sending the exponent to every single exponent inside the parentheses. So it's like x to the m to the n. we're going to multiply these exponents. So it becomes x, m, n. Whatever m and n are, you multiply them. See how there's only one base and there's a parentheses, an exponent on the inside, exponent on the outside? That's when you know to multiply those. Doesn't it like it'll 20 on the Yes. Nope, you do x 400. You'd multiply those. Yep, good example. You would just multiply them. x stays x. Your base stays the same. Um, if you have like a negative 3 to the 4th like that, you would just do negative 3 to the 4th power in your calculator. Like that. And be 81. Um, the way that this becomes positive is if it's an even power, it's positive. If it's an odd power, it's negative. Odd meaning like 1, 3, 5, 7. So if I were to do negative 3 to, let's say, the fifth power, that becomes a negative 2. So the power decides if it's even or odd. Even powers give you an even uh, a positive answer. Odd powers give you a negative answer. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our foldable. We're going to finish this. So it says a to the m 
to the n equals a to the m n. We are going to multiply exponents. So on this example, we have b to the fifth to the third. Multiply these, you get b15. Let's do the ones inside. y to the fifth squared. The exponents, we're going to multiply them. Fifth power and a squared, multiply them, you get a 10. So on these, we don't have to show any work. We're just going to multiply our exponents. On these, there's going to be a little bit more work because you're going to have to do more than one step. So step one would be dealing with this. X squared to the fifth. Go ahead and multiply those exponents. Leave this alone. We're doing one set of parentheses at a time. So it'd be x to the 10. And then carry down the x to the third. We've taken care of parentheses. Parentheses is this rule where you do power of a power. You raise an exponent to a power. So now we have x10 and x3. We add these because that's going back to this rule. They have like bases, so we add our exponents. So it's going to be x to the 13. Okay, the next one, negative 3a, b4 to the third. We need to send this th third power to everything on the inside. Because we would multiply our exponents. What's the exponent on negative 3? I mean on, yeah, on negative 3. What's the exponent here? It'd be a 1. So we're going to rewrite it as 1 times 3, which gives us a 3. And then a to the, this is a 1. Multiply your exponents. 1 times 3. <clears throat> What's 1 times 3? Three? 3. And then B. <coughs> What's the exponent issue there? What are we going to do with those? What's 4 times 3? 12. We've got to simplify it all the way down. So that includes this negative 3 to the third power. So this is where we'll put it in on the calculator. Make sure you put it in parentheses. Keep your numbers in parentheses. So negative 3 raised to the third power. Negative 27. Negative 27. And then just carry these guys down because there's nothing else you can do. So A3, B12. All right, let's go ahead and do the next one. 4 a squared squared b cubed. So we've got to send this exponent in. So right now it's a 4 to the first power, so now it's going to become 4 to the second power. Keep it in parentheses. And then a squared, we multiply our exponent, so it's a to the 2 times 2, 4. And then b cubed, it 
doesn't have any exponent out here, so we're just going to carry it down. So now do 4 squared. What's 4 times 4? 16. And then these guys, they don't have any change to them, so it's a to the 4, b to the 3. Sorry about my messy foldable. All right, so it's going to get a little bit more challenging. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> ready or not? Let's go. Power of a product. For, for all numbers A and B and integer M, what we're going to do is we're going to send the exponent in. So put that send exponent in to each number or variable to each term term is like a number or a variable So on this one, that's what we're going to do. We're going to send this exponent in and rewrite it. So I'm going to rewrite it one item at a time. Don't do all the little arrows at one time. Do it one at a time. Rewrite. So 3 to the third power. Because we're sending that exponent in. Now a, a squared to the third power. I multiply those. A6. B, B15, because I multiply the 5 times the 3. Our last step will be doing 3 to the 3rd power. Positive 27. So the difference between this one that we did earlier and this one is there's no negative there. So it's positive 3. So it's 27. A6, B15. Okay. On these problems, we're going to have to write small. Okay. Make sure you write everything I write down, but write small enough where we can fit everything in. Okay, so we'll start with this one. This third power is going to go to each item inside. So we're going to write them one at a time. So I'll be a negative 4 to the third power. Now x. What is the power of x right now? 1. So what is it going to be now? Yeah, x3. Then the third goes to the y, so it's y3. So we simplified the first one. Let's go to the next one. 3 is going to go inside to every term here. Negative 2 to the third. And then x to the... Now we need to simplify these. Negative 4 to the third power. Yep, negative 64. Keep it in parentheses till we multiply it all the way. Then it's x to the third, y to the third. Then negative 2 to the third. Mm -hmm. Negative 2 to the third. Negative 8. Six. Okay, so now we're in a situation that we've been in before. 
we need to yep multiply our number so negative 64 times a negative 8 by 12 yeah what are you going to do with the x's that are like bases add their x one so x 9, y has no other pair, y 3. Mm, that took some time, didn't it? So the important thing about these exponents is keeping yourself organized, writing things down. Once you get better at it, then you won't have to write as much. But right now, I want you to write it just like I did. You write your exponents with your numbers, write your um variables with your exponents, rewrite, and then rewrite again. So we're going to start here. This negative 3 doesn't have anything to it. Because remember order of operations, parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide. So there's nothing to do inside this parentheses. But there is exponents. So we're just going to carry down that negative 3. I'm going to put it in parentheses. Just carry it down. Then this next term, 2x to the 4th. The 4th power is going to go to everything inside the parentheses. It did not go to negative 3 because it, negative 3 is not inside. So that's going to be 2 to the 4th power. Write it down. And then x to the 4th. Okay. And now we have a whole new set of parentheses, a 2 on the outside. Send it in. Four squared. Mm -hmm. Five times two is 10, so x 10. Y, yep, because that would be a one there. One times two is two. So let's keep on simplifying. Negative 3, nothing can be done. So remember, parentheses, exponents. We need to deal with exponents next with these numbers. So we're just going to carry down the negative 3. 2 raised to the 4th. Mm -mm. 2 raised to the 3rd power is 8. So 2 raised to the 4th. Yeah, it's 16. Oh, yeah, they are. We could go ahead and pull this over here. It doesn't matter, honestly. So what I did was I wrote all the numbers out front first. So now multiply. Mm -hmm. Big number. And then what are the x's going to be? Like bases, you add your exponents. x, 14. 4 and 10. And then y is by itself. Mm hmm all right, so now what I want you to do is I want you to start on this one. Go ahead and do this one. I'm going to remove mine so you can't see it. You're going to do it, and we're going to see how you do. Yes. Go ahead and separate them out, though. Okay, so this is what I have so far. I'm going to go ahead and finish it. Four. X squared, Y squared, negative three. X squared, Y four. 
Then you can go ahead and multiply. I forgot a four. <laughs> There's a four there. See how easy it is to forget. That's terrible. So it should be a four and a one. It's negative 48. So four times a negative three times another four. Okay, so we got all the numbers. Now we have x squared and x squared. Is that the only x's? Yep, you add them, x4. And then y is y squared, y4, y6. Okay, the box around it. All right, go ahead and do the next one. Make sure whenever you're sending an exponent in that you are multiplying that exponent by the other exponent. All right, so negative 3 squared would give us a positive 9. Yep, if we want to go ahead and put those right up next to each other, that's a great idea. That does equal 72. Mm -hmm. So then the J's. <coughs> yeah, J10, K9. You're going to go ahead and glue this on the next page in your journal and then your assignments on Delta Math. You do have to show work on the Delta Math assignments today.